Ashley has an interesting strategy. She gets in the first office pool, yeah. and then the second one she didn't get in. And then she's going to get in again. So I hope she's guessing right here. It's not You're a not strategy. In at all. It's just a, I can't gamble every other every week. That's all. That's what it is. It's not a strategy. You pick your spots, right? I, I pick and choose. What's your excuse? <laughs> I never win. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> All right, well. It's like I can spend this $6 on the lottery or Chipotle. Yeah, we do some, $6 some I so pick we, Chipotle. to get more tickets, you know. So. <laughs> I totally, look, I totally get it. And I hope that one day, one day, you'll just, you know, you'll take it easy on me if you do happen to win. Oh. And still be like, I'll <laughs> treat you to at least lunch. I'm not giving you anything, but you can come to lunch. Well. That's a I given. would expect at least a grand. I'm just saying. That's all? <laughs> On 1.2 billion? You guys are cheap dates. <laughs> all right. All right, Kevin, take it away for us. <laughs> all right, so we've got some sunshine returning. You know, optimism in the forecast here because we've got sunshine returning the next couple of days. And then over the weekend, we will have a shower threat. But before you get overly concerned about a wet weekend around here, it will be another one of those scenarios where it's just not a lot of rain again, and most of the time over the weekend should be perfectly dry, but we'll have to include the shower thread in there. And then next week, the potential for some record warmth around here. Let's talk about the next two weeks because October was relatively chilly. We had some cold days by October standards, right? Now, what's interesting here is we flip into the month of November, we will see temperatures that we should have saw back in October. And in fact, the next two weeks could bring us temperatures warmer than we saw all of the month of October, right? So we got temperatures that are going to be running 10 to 20 degrees above normal on average for about at least the next two weeks through mid month around here with the jet stream staying locked to our north. That is keeping the cold air trapped from the Pacific Northwest up into Canada. That will leave southerly winds in the Gulf of Mexico open. In fact, that's what's headed our way the next few days. Now it's going to be a process, right? Here's your 24 hour temperature change. Our temperatures haven't jumped much today because we're stuck underneath the clouds. But look to our west, 10, 15, getting close to 20 degrees warmer. So the trend will be for milder air to spill over the Midwest heading into the weekend. It's reflected in the temperatures here. Notice 67 tomorrow, low 70s on Thursday, low to mid 70s on Friday, and then potentially mid to upper 70s on Saturday. A little bit of a setback temperature wise Sunday, but when you compare it to our normal high, we're still well above normal for this time of the year. It took us a while today, but finally some sunshine out there now at 64 degrees. Here's the problem though. Winds are relatively light and you look at the humidity. This is mid afternoon or should I say late afternoon and with it up there around 67% already and the sun's not even down. That's a sign that clear skies, light winds, Fog certainly could be a problem later tonight. Now you're in the mid 60s the farther east you go, but where you work your way west, you get more sun temperatures. Dillsboro 69, 70 up there in Connorsville. Within the 275 loop, we're all in the mid 60s here close to home. So here's your evening planner. We'll slowly drop from 60s down into the 50s. We'll still be in the 50s at midnight and then down into the mid 40s by morning. And I do think after midnight, patchy areas of dense fog are likely to become a little bit of a concern out there. Here's future cast. You see the clouds and fog kind of building in tonight around the area. So we'll start gloomy on your Wednesday. It'll take us probably all day to finally see some sun similar to today. I think tomorrow's a lot like today where it's just a slow process to see the sun. We get into Thursday. We'll start with some fog. But as temperatures warm, we'll get more sunshine Thursday afternoon and that trend will continue on Friday for us as well. So a quiet night, but be alert areas of dense fog late, especially tomorrow morning too. clouds fog may take a while to burn off. Eventually we'll get mild into the 60s with some late day sun. Here's a look at your day planner. It's just that time of the year where our nights are getting longer and you know the sun angle is so much lower in the sky. It takes a while to burn off these cloudy days. Here's a look at your seven day forecast, but not bad at all. Again, most of your daytime Saturday looks great. There could be a little rain in here Saturday night. I don't think that's a lot of rain. Don't forget, we actually fall back an hour Saturday night. You get an extra hour Whoa. of sleep there, so that's the added bonus. And then there could be some showers in here on Sunday. I don't see a big deal for the Bengals game, but look at Election Day. We could be close to 80 degrees with near wow. record warmth. 
He had me at extra sleep. Yeah, there keep, you go. Keep it at that. Yeah. Well